But it's your girl back for another video. Very excited right now because I finally got one of those things that you plug onto your windshield where you can film videos and not have to hold your phone. Um, and I just want to apologize for not making a lot of videos lately. Right when I start getting, you know, quite a few subscribers, I slow down on the videos. I just want to apologize and let you all know I am not going anywhere and um, I'm going to start making a consistent amount of videos every week. I've just been extremely busy. But anyway, this video is going to be about men going their own way. That is a movement right now. It's called uh, MGT OW, excuse me driving through a, a construction zone. So men go in their own way and a few people asked me to comment on that. So I'm just gonna say, I am not surprised that a movement for men going their own way exists now. If I was a man living in society, and, and again, I need to make this clear, I'm speaking about Western society because there's too many little smart asses that keep on saying, well, what about women in the West, uh, East, Eastern, Middle Eastern women? What about them? I can't speak on women that I don't know personally. I don't live there. I don't know what's going on there. I only know what I see on TV, and that's not always accurate. So I'm not speaking on them. You know, they can speak for themselves. I'm speaking for women over here, Western society, where I live, what I'm familiar with. Back to the video now. It's no surprise that men started going their own way. And again, if I was a man right now in Western society, I would be extremely, extremely afraid to get a woman pregnant. I would be afraid to marry a woman. I would be afraid to commit to a woman in any way, shape, or form. I'd be extremely careful, you know, if I did sleep around to do it very carefully, not get anybody pregnant on accident. Um, I've seen women destroy men's lives with children, with divorce, you know. I've seen women that go out to a bar, go home with a man that they just met, hardly know, sleep with them unprotected, and then the next day feel guilty about it and try to say that man raped her. I've seen all these things, okay? And I've seen women be ex-girlfriends and ex-wives make a man's life a living hell, okay? And I know a lot of women could say, well, what about, have you ever seen men do this to women? I have, I've seen men beat women. I've seen a lot of things that men have done. However, the numbers are so much greater with what I've seen with women do. So, okay, I'm not saying every man out there is, is uh, you know, got a low halo over his head. That is not true. However, the numbers are just so much higher when I'm speaking about what women are doing, you know. So I have a lot of female acquaintances. I have had a lot of female friends in the past, and I've known them very personally. I've known what, you know, goes on in their lives. And even though they put on this facade that they're good women and they, they do the you know, the right thing and they don't sleep around and they don't cheat and they don't do this. I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the women, the majority of the women that I've known as uh, acquaintances and, you know, so forth have cheated, uh, do cheat and do seek the attention of other males. And that's just, you know, being honest. And here comes the fire truck. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I know that was loud. But, yeah, so, uh, that's why I, I speak about this stuff so much. And in my opinion, I don't believe men and women are equal. I don't think that uh, we were not biologically designed to be equal. You know, in nature, every other male and female is not equal. The male has his duties, the hunter, the gatherer, the protector, you know, and the female has her duties to typically uh, always to give birth, to protect the young, nurture the young, uh, breastfeed the young, raise the young. And I know we're civilized, but I still think that our duties are fairly, 
the same as it was supposed to be in nature and such as I believe that uh, women were made to make babies. Women um, were designed to give birth and we're supposed to be the nurturer. We're supposed to be more emotional naturally. And a man is typically more stronger, um, tougher, um, that kind of thing. And that's just how I see things. I think we have our own roles and we need to stop trying to, you know, as a, as women, I think we need to stop trying to be something we're not. And I think that is going to ruin our society, not only ruin it, but it's going to cause our species to die out. It, it really bothers me when I hear women say, we're not made to make babies, how sexist. But that's, that's what we do. We're here to give birth. We're here to continue our species and, you know, do it in a way that our species is going to be stronger the next generation prior to the one before it. And that's just the way it is. Uh, it, it's just really sad that women just can't accept their role. It's like they're lazy. They don't want to. How dare you ask them to cook and clean for their family? How dare you ask them, uh, you know, to not go open up their legs to a stranger? How dare you? You know, those women that are out fighting for equality, they're not fighting for equality. They have equality. They're, they're, they're out there fighting in the street because typically they want to, they want to have the right to kill their own baby because they want to sleep around. They want to go and be a whore and sleep around and, and do it as many times as they want. And they want to be able to kill the baby that is a product of them sleeping around every single time they do it. And if you threaten to take that away from them, they go crazy. They freak out. Okay. Because right now with uh, the Trump administration, they're against abortion. I'm so grateful for that. I'm against abortion. I think it's disgusting. You want to sleep around women? You want to be whores? Go have your uterus taken out. Okay. Go take you some birth control or go have your uterus taken out. There is no reason to kill an innocent baby that has not done you a thing. Okay. We need to address the responsibility aspect. Now, that's what those women are out there fighting for. They want to be lazy, they don't want to cook and clean, and they want to be whores. And that's just the bottom line. And I do not blame men for going their own way. In fact, if I was a man, I'd be joining y'all in this movement. So, I don't blame y'all one bit. So, that's going to be it for the video. See you back on my next one.